North Korea. North Korea is one of the most oppressive places on the earth. North Korea has been called by some government agencies a prison without walls because the entire country is essentially in prison, kept under the control of a single communist dictator. North Korea is a particularly harsh place for Christians. So today, we want to look at one of those Christians being persecuted in North Korea. His name is Jang Wen Shi. He's often just referred to by his more common name, Deacon Jang. Deacon Jang is ethnically Korean, but he lived in China. Deacon Jang served in Chiang Bai, right along the border between China and North Korea. He served alongside Pastor Han, who gained much fame in the area for his faith and his faithfulness and his humble service to other people, particularly to those refugees fleeing out of North Korea into China. Pastor Han was murdered about 15 months after Deacon Jang was arrested. Deacon Jang was arrested serving along this border area as refugees would come across. He would help them get food. He would help them get shelter. He would help them sell the vegetables or herbs or whatever it was that they were trying to sell to make money back for, to take back to their families in North Korea. He served them faithfully, but often spent a couple of weeks with them, sharing the good news with them, helping them to understand God's purposes in these things. And for that, Deacon Jang was arrested by North Korean officials. He now has been in prison for 2,125 days. His sentence is 15 years. We want to pray for this brother. Particularly, we want to pray for his faith to endure this hardship, that his faith in Jesus would somehow, by God's grace, even be strengthened. And we want to pray for his continued witness. We just want to pray that he'll keep the fire burning in his soul for the joy of Christ and the good of other people. We want to pray for this brother. And if you want more information about uh, Deacon Jang, you can visit prisoneralert.com. And there you'll find information about his story, more details about him. You can keep track of him. You can also find out how to send letters, say, for example, to the ambassador to the UN on his behalf. I hope you'll look more into Deacon Jang's story and pray for him faithfully.